Hello everyone, once again welcome to my IP channel. So I am really happy that so many people they are uh, utilizing my YouTube channel and some of them they are getting uh, benefit from these uh, videos and all. And uh, some of the students they messaged me and they told that they are writing down the letters and they are studying from the videos. So I thought an idea. Uh, from these question papers because we have many question papers in our in YouTube's and other social medias. So with that question paper, I have created one guide. So already I have pasted in YouTube and Instagram and somewhere uh, guiding the guide. I will give you a brief explanation. So actually, this guide is developed. It's only for nurses, those who are uh, preparing for OET exam, and uh, especially those who have difficulties in OET writing. Because you know that in every country they have uh, uh, like criteria for each module and in UK and somewhere they have given uh, the option that writing actually you need only C plus other modules you have to get B. So even though some of them they have very difficult to score even this C plus. So many of you have 290 to 80 it will not go beyond that level. So maybe you don't know that what is that exact reason I am some used to tell that I am uh, hardly uh, practicing writing but I could not make any improvement my score is maximum up to 290 so there will be some uh, uh, mistakes maybe you are doing in introduction maybe the present medical paragraphs those who have 340 those who could not achieve 350 especially if you are planning to go New Zealand or uh, Australia or somewhere you should have writing B so there you should have B means it should be 350 and above Somebody they will have a continuously 340 to will not go beyond 350. So that especially in these cases, I can tell you that your problem will be maybe in the present medical paragraph. There are some criteria, some uh, like uh, um, what I can tell you, some standards. If you follow the standards and rules and regulation, of course you can get this for very easily. So what will be in your mind if you are approaching any personal tutor? You have to pay money maybe. It will not be it maybe it will not be out of your expectations because they will take only writing and speaking so the uh, the package will be uh, some more amount as per your expectations so this is easy way only if you want to concentrate on writing or if you have more difficulty to concentrate on writing or if you don't have time to approach a personal tutor and you don't have time to spend half an hour or one hour according to their time zone and if you want to spend your own time when you are getting free time for writing, I can assure you that this guide will be beneficial. So this is an ultimate pro guide for OET writing and you can see in that I have included the first thing it is included. Uh, this is um, basic OET writing. Okay, so from the date until the conclusion you are sincerely a registered nurse. What are the things you have to keep it in your mind and it is all related to 2000, until 2023 virtual the updates are there in the official website OET website I have included. From the uh, date until the last sentence what are the things you have to know even if you are a beginner it will be easy for you. So if you want to know the basics of OET writing it will be surely it will be helpful for you in the, la in the starting uh, 30 pages I have uh, we want this 30 pages only for basic OET writing and OET grammar. So you can see what is the format and inside the format itself I have given if it comes like this what is the thing. If it comes like this what is the thing. A simple example I can tell you if only date of birth is there what is the format. Only if they have given age what is the format. If they have given age and date of birth what is the thing you have to write. So like minor things I have explained in that even if you are a beginner also it will be easy for you to understand. And even uh, the address there are some uh, updates and salutation there are updates and uh, when you are writing the introduction there are many updates came like um, uh, before who uh, there, there was no uh, there was comma before but now it's not there simply we am telling and uh, we have later they have changed the um, format so like something it's there you have to know simply you could not write or write letter okay and if you are coming to present medical paragraph a lot of things you have to know simply you could not um, uh, take the case note and you could not write it in like a present medical paragraph there are a lot of things you have to know like a basic so I have uh, mentioned each and everything in detail uh, which letter you have to write which because I have mentioned different types of letters in that in each letter, type of letters how you have to write the introduction how you have to write the present medical paragraph if you have uh, two conditions how you have to present if you have all the disease condition but it is uh, worse than now 
exacerbated now how we have to write and if you have a non case how you have to start how you have to end and if you if you like to if you want to make your letter unique with others there will be tips how you can conclude the present medical paragraph there will be one sentence how you have you can um, manage and even in the social paragraph some of them until now they don't know that uh, how it should be the social paragraph i could see many students um, answer sheet present medical after present medical paragraph they used to write one social paragraph that means a one personal paragraph another one past medical paragraph it should be like that it should be together that is not a social paragraph so there also there there will be some prioritization personal history have to be first and uh, past medical can be uh, the last and inside how you have to write with the has if the hat is has had what is the rule if you have uh, multiple medications how you have to write if it is a non case but if you want to write some social paragraph where you will write how you will mention these things so what is the peculiarity how, whether there will be a special phrases and what are the special connectives you can use it in the employee letter and what is the rule there will be uh, rules and regulations for the usage with the, even with the commas okay even with the caps lock and small letters and all and some letters uh, some uh, disease conditions you can write in only in caps lock some should be in small letter something uh, it is important even in the social paragraph then recommendation paragraph also it is same like important if you have non medical cases you will get any confusion how to write the recommendation paragraph because uh, some in most of the case not they will give you the discharge plan it doesn't mean that you have to write all uh, discharge plan for every reader it will be different according to the reader if it is especially non medical means you have to choose and write so these everything i have mentioned here even the conclusion sentences and even if you sincerely and yours um uh, faithfully and even the last conclusion everything a to z for the letter basic uh, oil writing i have mentioned in this book and uh, gradually if you can uh, go beyond the um, pages you can see the basics of oit letter that is the oit grammar okay oit grammar in letter writing i didn't mention many of the things many grammar only specifically what are the things you want to know regarding oit writing i know that everybody is fed up of grammar even me i don't like grammar to be frank when i studied in uh, my school in central but oit grammar it is easy it is nothing only a simple uh, grammar you can just learn so you finish already you finish your nursing and you studied in english so it is not a matter uh, to uh, fed up with the oit grammar but if you go through that oit grammar i hope you can understand easily what are the grammar it is not more more things okay uh but something you have to know especially the passive voice so by hearing passive voice means if the beginners the, like beginners means they will wonder so it will be very difficult for us the grammar and all no nothing is like that it is very easy i have some formulas some tips some important things i have mentioned here you can uh, get the uh, book you can read it underline with the writing and you can study you can write it down if you want or if you have the book so no need to write it down anywhere you can just underline and if you want um, to know uh, if you want to read um, later on you can just open it and you can see okay so this is a basic letter writing and oit grammar then later on i have uh, segregated two things to part for the like sample letters one it is reason exam questions uh, from 2021 22 and 23 because from 2021 only we had oit update in the letter writing there are many updates they have given so according to the updates i have um, it is of my own letters okay so it is like a simple way if you follow my um, youtube channel you can okay, you can come to know how is my letter style it is like a simple only i will not make like very complex sentences and all it is simple way everyone can understand how to write um, or the letter in simple simple things okay so like that i have created one part 25 uh, recent um, uh, oet exam uh, uh, sorry 50 letters not 25 50 oet recent exam letters are there plus there will be 25 old type letters old type letters means including non medical because sometime you can see they will mix up with the medical and non medical in 2023 actually they they asked only one physiotherapy letter but you can expect in between maybe they will introduce again non medical another one more thing i want to tell you that now we days in 2022 and 23 what they are doing the old type of letters if you practiced this letter will be very easy why means they took the content the moral same content but the condition will be somewhat it is different but the reader will be medical okay so you can expect the same uh, type of question in 2023 and upcoming years also 
so that's why i have uh, chosen some of the important difficult uh, case notes and i have made some sample letters or sample letters in a simple manner with updates okay so you will have totally 75 uh, oet case notes plus the sample letter first you can see the question paper next page you will read the uh, letter and you can see everything if you go through the uh, if you have gone through that basic letter writing, then if you see this letter, means it will be easy. First, what you have to do, if you purchase this guide, what you have to do, you have to see the first 30 pages and all. Then, you can see the question paper. You can just start, start writing your letter, then see my letter. You can just compare what is the uh, thing it uh, may different. You can underline and you can recorrect in a, uh, another one book and you can keep it your book. So before the uh, exam, you can just go through this letter. So this is the way how you can utilize this game. So once again, I am reassuring you that it will be a very helpful, it will be much helpful for you if you don't have any time uh, to attend the classes. I know that many of you are housewife, you have kids and you are working and you don't have the time and even any time you have to take care of your family, cooking, washing, everything. In that, you do not uh, attend the classes at all. And if you are attending classes also, there will be separate time for this name, reading, speaking. So writing also it will take long time. But uh, for writing, uh, if you have some guide with few names, of course it will be good like it, it will be a useful for you. Uh, okay, so I just summarized uh, the content of the, my game. And if you want to buy it, just you can see the uh, description I have given the contact number. You can just WhatsApp me and I will provide you the uh, details.